Hello, Pixelogic people. How are you? Um, Thanks for joining. I think Steven is going to be the moderator. Um, <laughs> otherwise, we're just going to be chatting. Because uh, usually what I do is I just start talking about what I'm doing at the same time that I'm doing it. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good not having to talk all the time. <laughs> Uh, why not? I have the desktop audio. Oh, there we go. On. Now, it's, now it's doing it. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. I guess I had, a, I had a button that wasn't clicking. All right. Yeah, okay. But they could they could hear you just fine, it seems like, so so we should be good. Um, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit scared of tweaking this uh, goat of hell. So this is Anna <laughs> and work. It's already good. <laughs> Okay, so the idea of this stream is that uh, we each have something that somebody else has done before, and it was just kind of a sketch. It was a it was a rough idea that they were kind of trying to kick out, and uh, and so we're trying to go through, take it, and push it further. Um, right now, I have a sculpt from Pablo, and then. Uh, let me see. Pablo, you have something from Anna, right? And then Anna, you have mine. Is that right? Yeah, I have yours. Yeah. So I have the the goat. So now I got to try to do something cool with uh, with Pablo's stuff without res uh, really super messing it up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it would be actually better if you just mess it up. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what to do with Anna. I'm just gonna work on these. Are these antlers, or is it just a, a nice in a, a horn? They were supposed to be a mixture between a horn and an antler, but really now it's up to you. So. Well, that's that's what I got from it. So I'm just gonna stick with it. I think it's a cool idea. It's a <laughs> handler. <laughs> uh, yeah, a handler. <laughs> or an antlorn. Oh, ooh, I like that. I like better. that better. Oh, yeah, I like that better. <laughs> I don't know how instru <laughs> instructive this stream is going to be. Just a bunch of uh, mumbling <laughs> things around. <laughs> it's it's usually these streams, you know, they're more a little bit more relaxed, laid back Blink. than usual. Yeah, you know. Oh my! I, look at me trying to do work with my tablet not plugged in. Brilliant. <laughs> Good start. Hey guys, welcome. This oh, so good to to see you guys. Hey Jose, how you doing? <laughs> Pablo sculpting without references. What? <laughs> blur. Hey Blur, is saying what's um? Where's Pablo's cam? I thought it's I thought it was on. Can you guys not hear me or see me? Or oh, are they not able to to hear or see you? I'm not getting any complaints. I can see you on, on the... Oh, okay, I see it. On Twitch, oh. it says, where's Pablo's yeah, the... cam? So if, if you want Wait. to see Pablo, he's over on Facebook. So go to the Pixel ah, channel right. on Facebook. I get it. I, I see I see where the question's coming from now. <laughs> yep, yep. I <laughs> got it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey Anna, is your goat symmetrical? I think for it's, the most part. Yeah. For the most part, yeah. Cool. Hopefully, I mean, I have symmetrical versions in case that one is. That's that should be should be good. Ah, uh, but this one is already retopologized and everything. Ooh. Right. Topology. Topology. <laughs> I do love myself some good topology. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys going to do with the sculpts? Are you just going to like completely rework it, change the idea, or are you going to try to finish it up a little bit more? 
I'm kind of adamant. That's what I was kind of like scared to, to do anything because it already looks good. So I don't know how can I improve it. I'm just going <laughs> to add a bit of uh, muscle mass <laughs> around. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just throw in some um, some fiber mesh to see how it looks with some hair. Uh, it's going to get the power treatment. You know, um, if there's one, th one thing that I have a phobia of, it's fiber mesh. Why? I don't know why. I don't know. It's not logical fear. It's legit just like a phobia. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know what it is. logical fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair enough. When you first kind of like jump into ZBrush without not knowing what fiber mesh is, when I first did it, I was like, oh, this is really, really cool. Awesome. So easy to make some hairs in 3D. And then you just try to do something and you get a bit frustrated. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Like, hey guys, you want to talk a little bit about yourselves? I'm sure everybody already knows you because you're legends in my eyes, but... <laughs> not really, not really. <laughs> yeah. why, don't you, why don't you talk about yourself? Why don't you, oh, talk, why don't you just um, give some, some Portuguese lessons for the Portuguese-speaking community that are watching? Tudo bem, tudo bem, yeah. Tudo bem. A gente vai falar português. Wow! That was perfect. Você fala português? <laughs> eu falo um pouquinho de português, que eu morei... That's uh, not fair. That's not even fair. Quatro, quatro <laughs> brasileiros. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, Steven. I'm sure you understand. It's, oh, I, I think it's a pretty oh. similar language to, to Spanish. Oh, well, they all come I from... I struggle with from... Portuguese. I really struggle with Portuguese. I, I think if you... If you just uh, been spoken a little bit slower with your Spanish knowledge. I'm sure you can pick up. Yeah, probably. Pick up stuff. Probably. It's funny because you know, like when I was, I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't know much Portuguese. I just managed to uh, speak Portuñol with the with the friends that I used to live with. Um, <laughs> but there are some words that are really completely the opposite between Spanish and Portuguese. So like the word Espirito, it's completely different meaning. In what does it mean in uh, Spanish? Correct. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is what I've been told, right? Esquisito in Portuguese means like, kind of like not good or disgusting or not. I, I would say right. that a good translation would be like strange, weird. Right, that, that kind of thing. And in Spanish is the opposite, right? In Spanish, yeah. it's delicious. It's, yeah. Wow. It's squiz exquisite. Exquisite cuisine, cuisine or something. Yeah. Crazy. Recognize some words, but then get the meaning totally, totally wrong. Yeah, I do the same thing with Chinese. Like, like Chinese, I think it's the same as Spanish, and then it's just completely wrong. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What do you mean? You speak some Mandarin or? <laughs> no, I know, I know, like I know, I know, like <laughs> no. three or four words. I know, like three or four words, and uh, and that's about it. Like, like grape in span in uh, Chinese sounds like a like a really bad word in Spanish. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's what you learn first, right? From any any language, you learn all the the swear words and. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Kyle, in chat. Long time no see. Just kidding. Oh, by the way, guys, are you going to the Zebra Summit? I am. Um, are you asking us? <laughs> well, the chat, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. I think we talked about it, right? Already? Yeah, we talked about it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it this year, but it's going to oh. be so much fun. The, the lineup of the speakers are incredible as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I was really looking forward to the... Well, to be there and um, what's her name? I always forget her name. Um, Panfilova. Um, no sé. Ah, I forgot her name. Pansilova. Panfilova. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anna? No, Anna. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. Um. Someone she does a lot of 
Yeah. Oh, she, okay. she's gonna she's gonna be one of the speakers. Oh my God! Yes, Pompilova. Yes. Oh my God! Oh, she's a streamer. Maria. She's like yeah. us. She streams here. Yeah. Yeah. Maria. You you don't. Yeah. You know you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Her work is amazing. Yeah. You're talking about like Maria, she, Maria, right? Yeah, Maria. Yeah. That's the word. Masha. She like tra she does like she has like such a unique style. Like I've never seen anything doing anybody doing 3D what she does. Well, I love how she does. It's like she's like super feel. super jet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm like She's a too beautiful. Too. That's pretty exciting. Ooh, so many sub tools. <laughs> FX node leads the stream sculpted from a sphere or base mesh? FX node, none of us are, are sculpting from a sphere. We're doing a thing called Recycle Up, where we brought our old sculpts and ideas, and we passed them on to our fellow streamers, blessed them with our old abandoned work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now we're just working on each other's old work. So it's it's just a lot of fun. It's all about it's all about just playing with old ideas and seeing what we can do more with it. Steven, the shape language in your piece is so cool that I like kinda like Pablo, I'm scared of touching it too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I really am. I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna be so cool to see what you guys do with it. <laughs> And so one of the cool right things... Right now it's the same, a little more detailed. <laughs> oh, one of the cool things about this uh, this exercise is we're kind of we're going through and getting... Um, we essentially, you know, pass our, our work to, to someone else. And then uh, uh, we're... It's going to go through the cycle and then it's going to come back to the original person that that you know that handed the 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 sculpt off in the first place and they're going to get to add like fin finalizing touches or to you know push it and pull it however they they decide they want to um so it's really kind of a kind of a fun stretch of an idea yeah plus you know our sketches, or at least mine, were, was probably never going to get worked on again. So it's nice to give them like this one last chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one last hurrah. Bye, <laughs> Joel. <laughs> it's unfortunate that you're not going to the Super Summit this year. Maybe next year? You there, Pablo? You there, brother? Where are you at, buddy? Oh, no. Um, Doom PDO, hi. You're asking for the um, stream link? I'm going to send you the, um, the link to every single... Oops, I accidentally sent it on restream. Nailed it. Fan flipping uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna compile all the links of our different of our stream, you know, put them in chats everywhere. I can't hear Pablo. Is that is that is that is that you trying to say? Uh, is that Pablo trying to say? Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> oh. 
Pobrecito. Yeah, Pablo's got some interesting uh, internet quirks going on right now. Uh, yeah. So poor guy's trying to like work with them and. <laughs> Yeah, I just heard him kind of click out and click back in. Hello, hello. There yeah, he is. He made it. Ah, sorry. I don't know what happened. Uh, I was well, just uh, glad to have you talking. back. <laughs> yeah, good to be, good to be here. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I, I think I was just like talking by myself for like three minutes without no, <laughs> not knowing until you started talking. <laughs> I was uh. I was just saying that one of the really cool things about this exercise is not only being, I mean, not only having the chance to work on something completely different from what you usually do, but also see how you guys organize the project. Uh oh. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We do get that opportunity. Yeah. That's really cool. I hadn't thought about that, and now I'm embarrassed. I don't even remember how I organized mine, but I'm going to assume it was bad. Oh, mine's easy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a single sub tool. <laughs> ah, poor Pablo. Okay, just so just so you're aware, bud, we we can't hear you anymore. Oh, he's still going. Oh no. Well, meanwhile, I answered this question in Portuguese. Maybe I was in faculties of games and some of the arts institutes. E não foi muito bom, então eu não recomendo. Mas foi isso que eu fiz. I just, I just, I just heard something in Portuguese. Is that? Ok, <laughs> <you mean? laughs> a gente te recomendo. <laughs> um, I got asked what college I went to. And I was telling them what college I went to. And also that, you know, I don't really recommend it, so. Fair enough. Uh, it's funny as like at work, we still haven't rolled over to ZBrush 2019. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> what do you mean? So you're still with the uh, 18? Yeah, we're still or with 18. Or even then? Yeah, they, like they're really, really slow at, at uh, updating ZBrush at, at big companies because it's, you know, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. But it's... Uh, that, that and a lot of times it has to do with like tools and pipelines and, and uh, you know, if it were to mess up the uh, the workflow at all because of whatever bugs or whatever it hasn't been worked out yet, you know, but, uh, but still. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too used to the, uh, to the visible count slider of the sub tools. Yeah. Now that's like so useful for me. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. But yeah, I haven't, uh, we haven't updated at work either at my job, but that's because I'm the person who's supposed to be updating things and I have way too many <laughs> other things. <laughs> oh, bless your so, so don't say that we haven't updated, say that I, I haven't updated. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Nobody's noticed, so, like, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've noticed. I, I can say I have noticed now. Oh, no. <laughs> Tomorrow, first thing we're going to do. <laughs> Update ZBrush. They're going to be like, hey, where's that thing we asked you for? And I'm going to be like, um, I haven't done it yet, but <laughs> do you see this? ZBrush is updated. This is really cool, guys. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Folders. <laughs> Uh, it's almost like it just reminds me a little I sometimes like tend to just zone out and sculpt and, and work on zero sculptures while I'm listening to podcasts or things like that and that's how it feels the difference is that I can every now and again just something <laughs> yeah Pablo how long have you been um, you know in the industry, and by the industry, I don't even know which industry specifically I'm talking about, like, just doing 3D art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a fair question. 
So in the in the industry, I'd say uh, professionally, as in getting professional jobs, I would say about seven, seven, eight years. But trying to break into the industry even longer than that. Of, um, I would say about in in, in if you were to, in terms of of experience of you know working with 3D and stuff, I'd say about 10, 10, 11 years. Cool. It's so long. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a long it's a long road, but it all it, it always pays off. Well, it's like it's it's. I mean, you've been you've been around a while, but I mean, it's not even not even super long if you really think about it. <laughs> yeah, not at all, not at all. And it and it really does kind of, but it feels like it, it like flies by sometimes. Which is stupid. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I I started with Zeroz when it was Zeroz two, before Zeroz two. That's when I when I got introduced to Zeroz, and then I I absolutely hated it, <laughs> and I dropped it, and I didn't touch it until later on when it was already uh, Zeroz. That is so funny. <laughs> what yeah. was Zeroz two like? Please enlighten me and the audience. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. How is ZBrush two? Oh, did I did I just drop again? Ah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it it was just um, it's a two point five D application. Like it was very very focused on that rather than the three D. Um, I mean, the standard was. I remember when the C spheres were introduced. That was like the big thing. When which one was introduced? C spheres. Okay, Z-spheres. Oh, yeah. Z-spheres. Yeah. Wow. So that was like a, a massive thing. And everyone was like, wow, look what you can do. And you can just push things like this. And then it turns it into a geometry ready thing. So that was pretty, <laughs> pretty intense. I mean, at that time, everything was pretty new if you compare it to what, um, how, how fast has been progressing. Um, at the time, I remember the biggest thing was ambient occlusion, uh, producing ambient occlusions. And I, I used to have uh, a subject in the, in the, um, uh, where, where I was studying, it was just a subject dedicated to ambient occlusion, how to produce ambient occlusion in Maya. And uh, it was, yeah, it's amazing <laughs> to think that that's where, where we where it all started. I mean, normal maps was, was even a thing. Really? Man. Wow. So a long time ago. <laughs> Sometimes I stop to think about like how in a few years we're gonna be like, oh my god, you talked by hand? Yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. Remember modeling characters? Uh, again, even before Zbrush, the whole idea was to create the, these curves and using the nerves, the nerve system in in Maya. It was a painful process. And then we switched to box modeling with a, a little software that is free called uh, Wings 3D. I don't know if you guys know about that. Oh boy, you're dating yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I know, it's, it's, it's really a long time ago, but that's how I used to make models, just box modeling using Wings. And to this day, it's a pretty decent application, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not one. Yeah. It's not one I've actually heard of or, or used. So it's kind of interesting. So it's box three D. <laughs> Mortar Caner on uh, on Twitch is like yeah, most important thing had it red wax. <laughs> <laughs> it's like of, co of course yeah. you're asking about red uh wax. <laughs> I think that was the only, uh, the only material available. No, nah, there were oh. some. <laughs> no, there was actually before the red wax. It was kind of like a gray material. When the red wax was introduced, was another revelation. It was like, oh, look at all the crevices that you can see. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I even remember the the time that the damn standard brush was introduced. Man. Oh wow. Damien Candling was uh, was showing off something with Zbrush, 
and and Ryan Kinsley sort of like took that on board and said, oh, can I can I just include it into ZBrush? And from that point onwards, the damn Thunderbrush was invented, and it was another revelation, another one of those things that you go like, wow, oh, this is amazing. Okay. That is really cool. Yeah, I mean, it definitely. How sounds... you guys going? What was that? Oh, Ugo Leon says hi. I actually, is Wing, Wings 3D not today? Obviously. Um, actually, <laughs> yeah, Wings 3D was a pretty decent application back in the day. Yeah, uh, FX Node, we totally are really spoiled today. But I don't mind being spoiled. I'd much rather be spoiled than the alternative, yes. <laughs> work for my art. Um, you know, I just want it to be. What time is it over there? Is it? For me, it is 7.30. Yeah, it's 5, 5.30 in the evening oh. for me, yeah. Okay, that's... And this uh, was a, a good time. Yeah. Yeah, so far it's... I didn't make it home in time. Like, I was literally stuck in traffic until 20 minutes or, or half an hour before the stream. Oh no. Right. <laughs> Should have seen me, I was like, come on guys. <laughs> Well, I was kind of like in the same boat instead of driving. I was on, on the phone with the internet provider because my internet was terrible. And apparently a tower just went down or something happened. Uh, the one that provides internet to this area. So I'm basically running from my phone. <laughs> I'm using my phone as a, as a hotspot. Wait, for real? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that you were running it from your phone. Holy crap. Well, yeah, the alternative is nothing. <laughs> but it's true. not too bad. I mean, the the phone, the, the 4G is pretty pretty good. But that's probably why I'm dropping out every now and again. Man. <laughs> this goes to show that we live in the future. It's like, yeah, my internet didn't work, so I just used my cell phone. <laughs> it's like, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, but it's like, um, I think Australia, in terms of, of the internet connectivity, is way behind some other places. <laughs> it's That's really I low. Yeah. But... Like Brazil. Whenever I go there, I just have to stop streaming. Hey, what's what's happening with the with the Amazon? I just saw the news just recently. Oh yeah. <sighs> wow. Yes. Um, I don't know if we have time for me to go into that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah, just kidding. Uh, so, right? It's it's political. Yeah. Uh, so, the current president, he is more. He, I don't think he like totally believes in protecting the Amazon. You know, the Amazon is not a profitable place. It doesn't produce anything you can sell. It doesn't, you know, it's too protected. And so um, people are like, you know, how we can turn all this land into money? We can burn it and then like, and then turn it into farmland. And that's what they're doing. And it's a, it's very illegal, but the president's like taking the funding off from all the protection of the Amazon and like not been enforcing all the protective laws and just kind of like getting rid of anybody in, in politics that cares. Wow. Jeez, that's really bad. So yeah, it's, it's actually very, very bad. Um, you know, like different countries from Europe used to give Brazil money, like, a, like a, some sort of like grants to keep of the Amazon, but then they took that money and they spent it on other things. Oh no. Um, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, yeah, there's no there's no way to recover from that, right? It will take it. It will take years. Yeah. Maybe. I haven't looked into how hard it would be for it to cover. You know, but. 
Oh, not to cover, to recover from the destruction that is, you know, leaving behind. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's very sad, like, you, you, like somebody that sets that kind of fire can't have a lot of, like, what, how do their conscious feel like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's really heavy. I'm not gonna lie, that's really heavy. Like, yeah, so, sorry to bring the the tone, the tone of the stream down. I just remember. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry too. No, no, it's okay. Like it's important to talk about it. I'd say. Well, and I, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that we're not gonna have anybody on here that's like, I can't believe you would be that you would be against burning the the rainforest. We don't need that. You know, it's like everybody. I'm pretty sure is is pretty yeah. on board with it, you know, being like, you know, preserving uh such a such a gem and such a such a such a resource. I mean, it's it provides so much oxygen to our to a, to us, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But uh golly. Uh in happier news, um I'm gonna um, relaunch my personal stream. Cool. Oh, and when I do, the Twitch one. yeah, the Twitch one. I haven't done it since like January, February. I got burned out, and it took me ages to feel better. Uh, but anyway, whenever I do that, I'm gonna have like turn it into an ecological theme. So like every time somebody subs to me, I'm gonna plant a tree and stuff like that. Not a whole tree, a seed that's gonna become a tree. Ooh, nice. That's like that really nice. Try to, uh, you know, do what I can to offset, <laughs> to <laughs> offset everything. <laughs> I I always think about that. It's like, well, are we are we are doing our bit? Are we really yeah. doing anything? And you know, it's like with the profession that we chose. It's like, well, yeah, there's certain things that we can do, but. How are we really making a difference? Yeah. I always think about like how our, our profession, like, yeah, we use energy, but, you know, at least we're not as much um, using resources, you know? It doesn't cost anything to make more red wax and ZBrush. <laughs> yeah. You're not, like, going to the red wax farm and <laughs> yeah. harvesting. been following the chat much it's just like too much activity i've never seen that much activity so i cannot keep up i know it's all because of anna <laughs> yeah talking about the amazon anna you're in charge of, re of, of answering all the questions <laughs> oh my god they're all here okay i'm gonna have to scroll up for like a minute no no, no it's totally a joke you don't have to be responsible for everything it's just kind of funny <laughs> um, no no you have to you have to yeah you know, come on steven get on board oh my goodness yes i mean yes <laughs> <laughs> yes, teaming up. Uh, teaming Pingamon up. says running machines. Are That's actually not a, especially not here in Texas. Where they're like there is way too much sun right now. Uh, yeah. What's up? I friend? met a friend in um, Mrs. Oh. Green. You found a friend in Mrs. in Mrs. Green's class. Name's Stephen like you. His name is Stephen like me. Holy cow. That's pretty cool. Is he nice? Yeah. Yeah, that's He's good. Because if he, if he wasn't nice, I was going to be a little bit, like, not happy with him. Well, he's six like me. That's a good age. <laughs> <laughs> How was your teacher? Was your teacher nice? Yeah. So my daughter just went to uh, to her school for back-to-school night. And, uh... It's, her voice is so cute. Yeah, yeah, we like her. <laughs> she's all right we like her <laughs> we, we let her stay <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll keep her um it was it, it's uh and so she was able to you know meet her teacher and uh meet a few new friends and things like that and so so yeah apparently did you guys behave yeah you sure <laughs> And also Jacob's in there. 
Jacob's in your class? Oh, Jacob. Oh, no. He's really being mean to me. He is, he, is he still being mean to you? Yep, he oh, still no. chases me. Oh. That's being mean. Oh. Well, chasing isn't mean, but if you don't want him to chase you and you tell him to stop chasing oh. you, or then say that's being stop. mean. I don't like it. That's what we say at school when somebody chases us for him to bite. Yeah, that's a good idea. So hopefully, hopefully the teachers can help. We tell on teachers if they bite for for Teresa's for kids. How about you go and play with Oliver, okay? Ew, he's sweaty. I mean, yeah, I am sweaty. It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good to hear the the story. A happy story. Yeah. <laughs> Except that boy Jacob. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we hate Jacob here at Pixel Legends uh, live stream. No, no, no. I know. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> oh, um, somebody had asked a really good question on in chats. What is the best way to get into ZBrush by Lusty the Tree Chaser? That's a good one. Um, mm. What's the best way? Just, um, I think in my opinion, just jump into it and try to do something and fail. Because mm. that's, that's going to that's gonna happen almost, almost suddenly. Just fail. And then based on the failure, you just figure out what you did wrong or what you couldn't make it uh, or you, you couldn't make. And then find out the answer. That that. I think that helps you narrow. That will help you narrow down where um, what are you lacking. Um, whether it's the user interface that you cannot figure out, the the modeling, the brushes, whatever it is, and then you just focus on that area to you know just bring it up to speed. Yeah. In fact, a good example, <clears throat> and this is very true. Okay. So every time they bring out the new version of ZBrush and Pablo is uh, is on the beta testing team, like there there's not a single person that puts out more tests than Pablo. <laughs> it's 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 very true. You know, nobody nobody tests and he, he's always just trying new things and seeing where he can break it and <laughs> <laughs> it's super cool. It's right super like cool. if if you just can test and, and breaking things apart like then You'll never end up finishing anything. Everything is gonna end up being a test. <laughs> so for for today's stream, it was it was relatively easy for me because I have a folder with thousands of just unfinished tests, like you call them, that they're nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't call this dog nothing, but uh, <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 dog is actually uh, it's funny because that dog we. You know Marlon. Well, you know Marlon. Yeah. Anna probably knows him as well. Uh, Marlon Nunez. Yeah, so we did um we did a, a little contest a while back. Right. And the the topic of the contest was to create uh, a character based on your pet or you know whether or not you have a pet, just choose an animal and and do it. So that was the one that dog that Steven is working from. Uh, that was like the the example that I was doing. For, uh, for the for the contest, but you know, didn't didn't get a chance to finish it, and that's the state that I left uh, it on. I was gonna say, do you do you have a Doberman Pinscher? No, that, but that's the dog that I would love to have. I love them. I love those dogs. Yeah, they're beautiful dogs. They're super, super stylized. <clears throat> uh, it's it, it's a it's a sore point for me because I absolutely love dogs, and I used to have a pack of dogs back in in Costa Rica where I lived, and in Colombia, sorry, and in Costa, in Costa Rica. And uh, since I moved to Australia, I haven't been able to have the space to have a dog, and it's just, uh, yeah. I miss them. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's funny, there, there's this one time where uh, my wife and I, we were, it was, it was right after our daughter was born. Uh, we were on a walk in the neighborhood, and uh, there was this, 
<clears throat> there was this uh, big Doberman pincher that comes like, like, like prancing toward us, like, like coming at us, you know, and just, and so like I, I, I get between the dog and my family. I told my wife, you know, you keep going. I'm going to like, you know, <laughs> so like I stay there and I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to pee my pants. Like it, it was, I was so scared. <laughs> And I'm just like, here, boy, here, boy, here, boy, you know, trying to be like, you know, friendly and everything. And the dog comes over and, and like sniffs my hand. And I, I was just ready for him to just take a big old bite. And, but no, he went right back to, to his porch and, and we went back on our way. And I, oh my gosh, that was something else. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary feeling. I know, I know the feeling. There, there used to be like, um, in the farm that used to go, there, there were like these two uh, Rhodesian Ridgebacks. <clears throat> and these these are really dangerous. I mean, as in, they're really loyal, but to just the the owner. <laughs> right. Everyone else, everyone else is just a threat. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is a, a true fact, but I read somewhere that the these breed of dog, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, are the ones that in some part of Africa they use them to hunt lions. For some, uh-huh. reason, I don't know. It might be just a urban myth or something because i haven't corroborated it but but it <laughs> just goes to show that they're pretty if it was true they're pretty crazy dogs beautiful dogs but a bit crazy wow yeah I, yeah that'd be scary too <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> I don't know if I'm screwing up your work, Anna. I'm just going back to uh, a very sketchy. That model was one of my um, famous, world-renowned, never-ending, never-ending models. As you can tell. Like, I worked on it for so long, just redoing this part, now redoing this part, now redoing this part. Eventually, I had to let it go. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> There's a term called fail faster. When you're going to fail no matter what, stop fearing it. Make it happen. Learn from it. Improve. Move on. Failing faster leads to learning faster. That's true. That's a very true uh, principle. Uh, Bateman. Yeah. Be handy for me because I'm about to start learning a new software and it's going to be really challenging. Really? Houdini. Ooh. Ooh. That's right. You told me yeah. about that. I actually I started learning it on Saturday, but like I've only learned very, very basics. And it's actually like, I got to say, people on the internet were scary. Like, they were like, this is the hardest thing we've ever had to learn. But, like, actually, it's not that bad. At least not so far. Well, it's hard because it's node-based. But I love node-based. It's so much more fun. (laughs) 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 You never never destroy anything. This is is true. This is true. It's all about samples. It's all about, uh... yeah. No, I, I, I can understand that. Oh man, I feel like it's like 80 degrees in the house. And you guys are probably well, like, bless a, your heart, it's probably like a, 90 degrees. That's a smart heart. move. I, I re- <laughs> Hi, lost you, Pablo. I think the procedural generator, like, um, have you. No, no, you, no, no, I can hear hello, you. Hello, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. No, I can't hear Steve. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not talking now. <laughs> I was saying that. He is. No, I can hear. <laughs> I, was, I was saying that learning Houdini is probably a really smart choice just because it's procedural generation is kind of like the, the future or node-based procedural generation, I reckon. Yeah, in fact, I, I just had a buddy who got a job as a procedural modeler at a uh, at Blue Sky uh, Animation. Nice. Yeah. Using Houdini? 
Yeah, using Houdini. Yeah. Yeah, it's very scary software for me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've I've taken classes on Houdini, so I understand it a little bit, um, but not not a ton. Like I was I was really bad with it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried using it for like shader generation, like procedural shaders. I tried using it for um, procedural modeling effects. I mean, it's it's really robust and it can do a ton of things. But oh my goodness, I was so bad at it. Oopsie daisy. I messed up the model. <gasps> <laughs> Somebody just disconnected my part of the stream. Oh really? What happened? Uh I just I I had symmetry on when I shouldn't have usually it's the opposite problem. Usually I have symmetry off when it's supposed to be on and I work on a model for like half an hour and realize that I messed up symmetry. Yeah. Uh, I, I know I know that feeling. <laughs> and it's even worse when you when you realize just a few strokes in that you should have already turned on symmetry and you go back in time and do a few undoes and then keep working and you think it's fine. But then there's a tiny little bit of a difference and everything is completely destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. I use mirror and well the ton. <laughs> yeah. I have this wanna... really oh sorry go ahead no go ahead I have this really sad tale from college where I was working on like a final for like graduation it was a full body model and I messed up symmetry and I panicked because I was new at ZBrush and yeah. I just did it all asymmetrically by hand like wow <laughs> like a dum dum like a uh, that's a good practice eh what that's a good practice. Yeah. Oh, it was good practice. It was definitely like a, a fail slow, learn slow situation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. I still look at the model and I can tell that like the two like human hands are different from each other. Like so much time. Well, I mean, obviously you didn't fail the class. What did your teacher have yeah, to I say didn't. about it? <laughs> what did uh, What did you actually study? Where? Um, oh, I think we what, lost. What? 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 And where? Is, did he ask what? Yeah, he asked. He asked what did you study, but where could be close <laughs> enough to? Yeah. What? Why? Why? Why as well? Why did you study? Why did you oh. study? No, no. <laughs> Just what exactly and where? I studied. Um, I went to a college, a course that was called Game Art and Design. In Brazil bit of everything from the game for like game creation uh, here in Houston you know um, it turned out to be kind of a scam but you know I learned what I learned it, it really came down to teaching myself I shouldn't like I, I didn't expect them to teach me everything yeah. and um, why uh, <clears throat> because I wanted to be a concept artist but specifically for game okay, okay. And so uh, my parents were like, hey, you have to like do something. And I was like, okay, I'll do games because all my favorite concept artists work in the game industry. So uh, I, I kind of just got in there and then I found ZBrush. Right. I legit swear that the day I, I didn't want to be a concept artist anymore was the same day I met ZBrush for the first time. I was like, oh, oh well, this was, is good. And it I can do love. this. It was love at first keystroke. It really <laughs> was. It really was. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that because the reason I sort of like uh, decided to move more into the concept art than <coughs> anything else because my, 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 I learned animation. So my background is animation, like purely 3D animation. Um, but when I decided to move into concept art was because of ZBrush. Just because it's just, yeah. a, a, it's, maybe it's the, it's the opposite, but for me, it's just a very simple tool to get the ideas across. Um, sometimes I get I I push them all the way to production, but most of the time I just produce the concepts within ZBrush. That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Ah, oh, it's almost that time. Time to get ready to 
to transition over to the next hour. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, I I just got like. Oh, uh, are we wrap? Are we wrapping it up? Yeah. So so trying to like wrap up the whatever whatever you're working on probably, and then uh, and then get ready to pass it off to the next person. I guess okay. I guess to me. <laughs> let's, let's... I uh, didn't get a chance to do the the fiber mesh, so maybe I'll do it with Steven. <laughs> All right. I am uploading. It's funny because this is the first time I've saved since we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Me too. I need to get better at that. Um, yeah. Let me see. So, which folder are you putting these in? In the original person's folder? Or in our own folder? Put it in your own folder. Um, okay. and, then, and you can name it like, like 01. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in. I'm just gonna save it there and put it with my my name at the end. Yeah. Where it goes. Yeah, that could work. So this is called Goblin Elder. Should I be like go Goblin Elder Anna? If you Anna? like, yeah, yeah, that could work. Yep. Okay. And that's the one that I will, I will pick that one up from Steven. I'll just do the same thing. Pinch cool. All right, mine is being uploaded. I basically this they destroyed the <laughs> the concept from Anna, and, um, so it's 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 back to the sketchy the sketchy feel. So you you'll probably have to um, bring it back to to speed and make it make it look good again. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I basically did to Stevens what I always do to Stevens' work, which is I. Just oh, a little bit. I, lo I lost you, so that, that's like a total cliffhanger right there. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't hear. I, couldn't hear when you... Um, no, I take it and I make it just <laughs> than it was before. <laughs> a little wet more than it was before. <laughs> Good it just got right in that part. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys try to guess what it was. It's fine. <laughs> It's okay. No. You'll see you whenever you get it. Yeah, I guess I guess Pablo will All see right. it here in a minute. But... <laughs> it's funny because I try to make it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. All right, Jess. In the meantime, uh, I'm just gonna go through the chat and see uh, if there's any questions that I could answer or just throw you away. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but everything is everything is Anna. <laughs> so I'll just um. Uh, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Uh, oh no, here we go. Feel modeling. What would you have done now? <laughs> I'm still scrap now. Uh, I think you have to continue with mm, mine. Yeah. So the so one Steven just from, put in. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, from my it's from my folder. Uploading so. Oh, okay. All right, mine, the, uh, Steven, the goat is up, so you can just grab that one. Reload page. <laughs> Good luck, Pablo, sending the Sirish file with your phone. It was surprising, surprisingly um, fast. It wasn't too bad. Oh, Mortar Gainer, thank you for sharing the links. Appreciate that. It just canceled the upload. Oh no. All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go and fill up the bottle of water. I'll be back in two seconds. That's a good idea. Water is a good thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'm totally like. Hold on, let, I, this should be this should work much better. I just got rid of his, <laughs> got rid of an old uh, version of the of the headphones that this character had, and uh, uh, let's turn. That I'm really on. scared about getting this one. Actually, let's 
actually I might leave that off. Yeah, kind of experiment and explore, see what it is that you uh, that you like about it. Replace it, yes, replace that. Okay. Oh, it's so much smaller. That'll that'll go so much better. Thirty-five megabytes instead of hundred and twenty. <laughs> I'm back. <coughs> Welcome back. Let me see. So, okay, there's a couple of questions here. Where did you did you put the uh, the the RAM into Yo, into your folder, Pablo, or did you put it? Where did you, where did you put it? Um, in Anna's folder. Ah, okay. I just named it. Um, where go? Where go, Pablo? Yeah, I see. Yep. Okay, there we go. Steven, where's yours? I think that's in a Steven. <laughs> 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 I just saw it. I just saw it pop in. Uh, mine should be uploaded now. Know. Yep. Is it called zero two underscore Stephen? No, 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 no. It's uh, it, it's in it's in my folder in the the folder for the for the date. Do you want me to do you want me to uh, put it over into it. your folder? Uh, which one I'm 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 grabbing then? Anna, where what do you put Steven's one? Uh, in my folder. Uh, yep. And it's called zero two underscore goblin elder underscore Anna. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's download that one. Oh, technology. <gasps> Steven, this dog is so cute. <laughs> It's Pablo's fault. <laughs> uh, I, I cannot see what you're doing. <laughs> uh, uh, damn it. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I'm downloading the, the problem. I'm definitely going to poly paint this little boy. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Again, the, the audio is dropping out. Did you say the little pug? <laughs> no, I said little boy, but... Uh, right. I thought, uh, I thought Steven changed my Doberman Pinscher into a pug. <laughs> I mean, that should be really easy. I have the snake, the snake hook here. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, oh, cool. Oh, I see what you mean. A bit more... Um, I think the, the missing word that we had was uh, demon-like. Or evil? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Got yeah, it. that was okay. basically it. That was excellent stuff. Alrighty, I'm gonna continue with this guy. Ah, uh, this one is much cleaner. <laughs> only, only a few tools. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a body and arms in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw the same thing. It's like, no, no, no. I'm either show that I'm. This is just a bust. <laughs> yeah, I think I might keep it as a bust too. I'm not yeah. feeling. I'm not feeling that adventurous at the moment. But we'll see. <laughs> I just choked thinking about the body and arms that I did not realize were there. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've broken symmetry. Well, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's like, what is this stream for everybody if I don't break symmetry, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's even the point? Right. Oh, wait, but you... This your sculpt has enough symmetry that I can still use symmetry. All right, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I only broke the symmetry at the top, and towards the middle line. Right. And with the horn, the horn clears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, just a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Man. I think what what I'm gonna do with this elder goblin is, I'm gonna get rid of the sculpted here and see if I can do something interesting with fiber mesh. All right. 
I'm up for that. The evil look that Anna gave him. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if he's evil as much as he is misunderstood. Uh, right. Yes, of course. Misunderstood, misunderstood elder goblin. <laughs> it is. gone through phases where you don't know what you're doing with your art <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like when when you're not in a phase that you feel that way <laughs> when you're not feeling like that when you're not feeling like that i think that's when you should be concerned <laughs> yeah. you, you're too comfortable you're too comfortable i think that phase Like it smells like potato soup. That's what it smells like. <laughs> that was always one of the funny things about um, either either like uh, listening into uh, to Ashley's streams or. <laughs> Or uh, or streaming with Ashley, <laughs> she was always talking about food. <laughs> it was funny. push this mm -hmm. oh this is, th you're 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 gonna like not like this you're gonna it's gonna be so like <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yet if i'll break symmetry but oh boy this is gonna be something else <laughs> actually that makes me really excited so <laughs> i like where i like where pablo took it he like really kind of pushed things and and so I'm going to try to take it even further. Do you ever feel like so, every once in a while in these challenges or streams, like somebody will just do something to your sculpt that you, you, you were like subconsciously trying to figure out and you couldn't right wow. away. And then you're like, oh my God, of course, like, wow. Yeah, you guys do that to me all the time. Yeah? <laughs> except with, except, like with, the, except with the spider me. guy. The spider guy wasn't really like my favorite, whatever. It wasn't, you know, but it was, it's okay. It was something different, you know? It was fun. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't where I was intending to take him. <laughs> it was funny, though. Spider guy was my favorite. <laughs> oh, beard, oh. beard eye spider guy. Yeah, beard eye spider guy. <laughs> his new official name beard eye spider guy <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy <laughs> Marta Kenner says he's doing evil things to the model should I be worried yes Ghost of Christmas Future says good and evil are such human concepts evil means nothing to a goblin dun dun <laughs> Because of course, goblin just, just goblin just does what goblin wants to do. Goblin is what goblin does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm thinking of the Honey Badger um, documentary. I don't know that I've seen that one. Is that is that on? Uh, is it on Netflix? Or on Nature? Oh or yeah, is it National Geographic. What's uh, it's it? It was one of those like Animal Planet. Things I don't know exactly if it was like, like National National Geographic or what, but it got kind of picked up by the internet as a meme. <laughs> you should. It has some crude language because it's the internet. Because it's the internet. okay. I'm back. Can you guys hear me? I yes, was yes. I was out of it for a while. All right. I had no idea what you guys were talking about the Spider-Man thing. 
Oh yeah, last time we did a stream. What, was it last time? I don't, I don't know. You might need Whenever to we did one of these streams, we took uh, one of Steven's concepts for like Father Time, and it was cute and nice, and we turned it into like a horrible Spider Man. Oh yeah, oh, it was. It was. Fun. But not like a Spider Man, like a spider. He had he had like these like king crab legs coming out the top, and oh my goodness, <laughs> he was something super bizarre. He had um, eyeball, red eyeballs in his beard. Yep. Yeah, that was super zany. He didn't love it. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm completely wrecked all the work that you guys did, well, that Anna did on the on the goblin. Just trying to get rid of the the sculpted beer. And try to <laughs> do it's it for the best. But I, I don't. Is that is that something that you worked on? I don't want to completely erase your work and just do something else. It's okay if you do. Yeah, it's I okay. It's, it's it's all it's all about really kind of like what you want to get out of it or what you want to put into it or or whatever. So it's it's a really big exercise in letting go. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's. It's all about like not being attached to your work. If you are, then you're gonna end up <laughs> very sad by the end of it. <laughs> Whenever me and me and Ashley <laughs> turn your thing into a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Is that kind of like the the safe place? Turn things into spiders? <laughs> Maybe. Out of ideas. <laughs> it's where you go. <laughs> All right. Wait, can I says, you know, each model that goes into Ash's hands is going to turn into a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, <laughs> That's very true. Calvin says, hello, Anna. Calvin Cropley. 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 It sounds French. Cropley, cropley. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to give these guys some fiber mesh now. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Fill that object. Oh no, not with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny when you don't see what you're actually doing. <laughs> yeah. This is the rumblings of a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> a maniac who apparently filled the color with something wrong. Yeah. Well, it's like, I love it, it. I don't know what the material was that it tried to fill it with, but it was something like, what, what is that material? The Dots Oatmeal or O-Metal, I guess. Oatmeal? I call it Oatmeal because it looks like Oatmeal, but it's Dots O-Metal. I don't know. It's it's one of those standard materials, and it looks terrible. <laughs> I have no idea how to use it. It's not red wax, but close enough. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not red wax. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said the Dad Old material, old material. <laughs> uh, I, I could. I just try to give this. Gosh. Uh... Oh, that's really All I have bad. to say is that I'm very sorry, Pablo, for what I've done to your model. <laughs> <laughs> I think didn't serve this. I think that's the, the going rate for all the, the models that go through my hands as well. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hmm. 
I can't figure <laughs> out why I can't get rid of your your poly paint. On the what? On the poly paint? On the on the demon goat. <laughs> oh, I, the poly paint is all Anna didn't do anything with it. Right, right. I can't figure out how to get rid of it though. Like it won't let me fill over it, and I, it doesn't have a texture map. Uh, you know what? It that's uh that's something that I found it. Maybe maybe it is that. Uh, just try to paint with whatever color. Uh, and, uh, and assign the flat material, just the material, to get rid of whatever other material you have. Okay. See if that does anything. Oh, turn off Z add, otherwise you're messing everything up. Okay, so so far that's <laughs> Well, that worked. It was kind of funny seeing it, it in silhouette like that. Yeah, that worked. Man. That's a really cool fix because I've run into that problem a couple times myself. Well, it's really bizarre because it's like, I mean, it's like there's... yeah, it's a weird bug. Yeah. I don't know if it is a bug or if it's something that yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because now fill object works, so that's nice. Yeah, sometimes what I found is that um, when that happens is because there's somehow some information from the material. So even if you try to assign something else, it's just being just being pedanting, not trying to. I don't know. It just doesn't work. <laughs> right. Rid of the material first should help. Or at least there's something, you know. That's 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 good. Thanks for that. That was that's a. That's a big save. <laughs> yeah, that's also one of like the nice things about um, about being able to do streams with people. It's like you can like bounce ideas off of each other, and you can <laughs> ask. You know. Yeah, like, f figure things out as you go. Yeah. Like at work, uh, currently I don't have like a cubicle buddy. Um, at one of my, it's like I've got I've got two locations where where I work on campus, and yeah. and uh, one of those spots, I have I have an office mate, and then I have um, my other desk where it's just me, and. Uh, it's definitely like a lot nicer when you have somebody to talk to and stuff like that. Well, it could be just even uh, help you think about things that you didn't didn't see in the first place. Right. 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 Yeah. Whenever I was hired at the current company I work at, it was super small, as in I was the only developer. Wow. Only artist, only anything. Wow. Yeah. Um, like, I'm a technical artist, uh, but I did like some, I've done some of the gameplay programming and stuff like that in the past. Um, but yeah, so I was the only one, and I can tell you, like, not having somebody to bounce ideas off to the degree that it used to be, because I literally had nobody that worked with me, was, like, a disaster. Like, every time, every single something went wrong, like, I had nobody to talk to or ask questions or do anything. Yeah. One time I broke the entire game, uh, right, right before <laughs> a demo with the CEO. <laughs> and it was my first demo with the CEO, too. I just broke the whole thing. And they still kept you. That's that. That means that they like you. That means that they want to keep you. That's that speaks a lot to your character. <laughs> been, there your for a <laughs> been there for almost three years. Wow. 
When I said I didn't know anything. That's probably part of the problem. You didn't know anything about coding? Uh, yeah, nothing about coding. Uh, so we mainly work in Unreal. Right. And at the time I got hired, I, I was tired trying to teach myself Unreal and watching tutorials and stuff, like on how to do materials and that basic stuff. But like, I didn't even know how to save properly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> which Every really, time you which started... really happened. Yeah. Sorry? Every time you started from scratch again. Um, yeah, that happened. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. It was really Oh, like, I learned, I've learned a lot, you know. Yes, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it was it was rough, but you know, that's what it is. I'm still there, so didn't do bad enough for them to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I'm having I'm having a lot of fun with polypaint right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> this um the beard is definitely interesting the beard and the and the mustache that you guys set up it's pretty cool cool uh, yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see it i don't i don't really like venture over into uh into into fiber mesh ever i need to i need to i need to play with it more i was i was gonna oh, i was gonna go and so buy much your, fun, man. i was gonna go and buy your uh your fiber mesh guide that you just put out. That's exciting. Those are, those are actually, um, bro I'm using those at the moment. It's just, I'll, I'll be honest, those brushes, they, they're just brushes, right? Um, but those brushes are the ones that I've been using uh, over the years with every project that I, that I use fiber mesh with. I just got, a, just got a chance to finally sit down and put them together into a pack and, and fine tune them a little bit. Ah. But yeah. Well, cool. Exactly the same brushes that I use all the time, and it just makes it. They, I don't know. They have a a few settings and a few things that definitely makes it much easier to to work than with the current set of brushes. Okay. It will get me into it. <laughs> <laughs> they help you get the you know. Um, overcome the frustration that sometimes are associated with, with fiber mesh. That's cool. Yeah, it's something that that uh, I'm looking forward to. <laughs> I know that your, your, your guides have always been super, super helpful. And so it's it's something I'm, I've been looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely, man. How are we with time? All right, have almost half an hour in. Yeah, about half an hour in. It's like super, super quick. <laughs> yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. That's what they say, right? That is what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to decide whether or not I believe them, but you know. It is what they say. Yeah. <laughs> trying to decide whether or not I'm actually having fun. <laughs> no, I, I I always have a blast with this. This is like my favorite. Yeah, this is fun. Um, my favorite time. I like that you guys are having fun. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's, it's something really different, you know. It's, I I kind of like these type of challenges that take you out of the comfort zone, and in why way or another, you will take something out of it, where it's just relaxing, having some fun, learning some new techniques, whatever it is, I think it's just just a really engaging way to to do your work. <laughs> right. And practice. Absolutely, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, let's just do a quick save because I haven't done one yet. Oh, yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because in the in my streams, um, it's always the it's always everyone else that reminds me. Hey, have you saved yet? And I was like, Oops, no, I haven't. Probably <laughs> to do that. 
my stream, I have a bot that tells me to save every like 20 minutes. Nice. I don't. <laughs> I need to make one or something. <laughs> Have you guys done much um, macros or, or programming in your interfaces? No, nah, I keep mine pretty vanilla. I haven't. Have you? I'm guessing so. Um, yeah, I, I do have a few macros. They're nothing special because I'm not a, a coder, so I don't know really how to work with them properly. Uh, or I mean, do crazy stuff, but you know, changing materials and that sort of thing. That's that's an easy one. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering because I know that you can do pretty amazing stuff with macros or if you learn the, what's the language? The C script? The C++? I don't know what the language is. Is. is it with Python? I have no idea. I, I know that that is a language or that's a coding thing, <laughs> but I don't know much about it. <laughs> the one that you code with, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what else can I do with this? This is like. Mm. See, it's hard. I told you, it's hard. It's like already good. What What are you gonna <laughs> What are you gonna do with that? Well, it's 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 really good, but beyond that, it's like it's really fun trying to figure out. Okay, what am I gonna do to it? You know. <laughs> yeah. Is there some sort of command log in ZBrush? Are you, uh, effects node? Are you talking about? Um, are you talking about like in Photoshop where you have like the history list? Because uh, so far as in ZBrush, you don't have an actual list that you can go through and look at, uh, but you do have a pretty a pretty hefty undo uh, just right up along the top of the of the screen. You can see like there's a there's a series of dark rectangles and a light rectangle. Uh, the light rectangle is your current standing in that line of history, and the dark the dark squares represent a step in that history. So yeah, there's there's a lot uh, that you can do. Uh, history is really pretty flexible inside of ZBrush, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I love the the undo history to especially do like um, recordings. So once you finish. Just do a, a little recording of what you did. Just going back through the history. That's really fun. Yeah. Oops. I think I'm nearly nearly done with the beard. Ah. Oh. Gonna go to. Gonna move forward with the with the mustache. You mad genius, you. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, more tongue. <laughs> This is what I mean. More what? <laughs> Again, the ramblings of a maniac. Again. <laughs> yes, yes, this polygon is working. What are you talking about? <laughs> Flip the normals. What? Uh, at least, at least you understand where I'm coming from. You know. <laughs> Or Spracken's the same language. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Do we? Do we really? <laughs> A veces. <laughs> A veces. I thought you guys played some background music with these streams as well. Uh, I yeah. don't personally. What do you listen to? Um, I just have Pretzel Rock on that link that Kyle sent, like Pixelogic channel, like ages uh, ago. Yeah, yeah, has, that's a really good one. Yeah, it's just totally random music. I feel like I'm in like bag right now. Right. 
But is that usually what you listen to, that type of rock music stuff? Um, I listen to everything, like a little bit of everything. Right. So, yeah, I'm so trying your... to get into metal right now. I think, like, I've been trying for a while, though. <laughs> well, metal's pretty solid, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I yeah, metal is one of those, um, those things that you either absolutely love you cannot stand it. <laughs> I had my, 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 my metal face and, you know, progressive metal and I was into Dream Theater and, you know, all those, those bands, but I don't know. <laughs> so like now I prefer something a little bit more chill to work. Like what? Um, probably music that not a lot of people will know. Uh, oh, maybe, you know, um, kind of like old style maybe Brazilian music as well, like um, Caetano Veloso or Chico Buarque, that sort of... Yeah, I listen you know, to little, that. Yeah, that's really... I, I love that type of chill. If I want to work on something a little bit more, uh, you know, fast-paced, I'll probably listen to, to funk, <laughs> which is, you know, slightly <laughs> different. <laughs> nice. I listen to that too. For it's work. fun. Yeah, I like to kind of move around a little bit. It kind of just depends on, on whatever the mood is. So I, I, I do a little bit of... Um, good grief. A little bit of electronic music sometimes, but not very often, because it gets to, it gets to be too, like, throbbing, and I don't know. It's, it gets to be weird sometimes. Um... Oh no, I think I crashed my ZBrush. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, let me see. Oh, so, so Ricardo, uh, Ricardo? Ricardo Harris says, uh, Pablo, how was Chris Costa's class? Uh, I haven't taken Chris, Chris's class, um, yet, but I've heard he's fantastic. I mean, I haven't had a chance. Um, I know from, from Marlon that it was really, really good that, you know, he doesn't, he, he absolutely answers all the questions and it's really, really good. So if you're looking into portraiture or that type of hyper-realistic uh, stuff, it's really, it's really the place to be. I had the time. Um, hopefully at some point I will, I will take that because I'm, I'm interested in, in learning from everyone's um, workflow. Even though my my style or the, the type of stuff that I don't uh, that I do is not uh, hyper realistic, like the way that Chris work is, is all about, but um, just getting to know the the workflow, such a great that that's again you'll always learn something. So in the future, I will. Yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat. Like I'd love to take Chris's class because he's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was really uh it was really gutsy of him in my mind that he went through and took on his uh like doing a portrait of his wife <laughs> yeah, yeah i would i wouldn't do that <laughs> yeah uh, well it's like it it makes me want to try i mean i'm not i'm not gonna be able to pull it off nearly in the same way that he would but uh or that he does and is you know but it's like it's just this this interesting uh Just interesting. It's just interesting. <laughs> yeah, no. Why is mean. it ballsy like, that he chose his wife? What was that? Why is it ballsy that he chose his wife? Because then it's like, you know, you have to be. I don't know. You, you almost makes you. It almost makes you think that you have to be really careful about like what uh, what features you leave in or take out. Um, if you uh, if you get to be too. Uh, too honest with certain things that maybe she isn't comfortable with or doesn't like, then it could be, you know, it could mean that he's sleeping on the couch for a while. I don't know. <laughs> I think it, uh, in my opinion, it has to do more with the fact that if you, if you know the person and you see it, well, you see the person every single day and often you kind of like don't necessarily see certain features that will 
uh, you will enhance or, or showcase in the in the sculpture. So I think it's much more that than than anything else. Like oh, this is this is someone that I know and that um, that I that I see every day. So trying to to make a likeness of it uh, of her is gonna be hard. I think. Yeah. But if it's something new, you you kind of like take more time and study it, study the shapes. Yeah. Well, and, and being like satisfied with what it is that you're, um, that you're, that you're making to is something that you hold to be such a, you know, the most beautiful person in the world, you know, it's like, you know, going through and trying to figure out how do you, how do you replicate something that you hold in such high esteem, you know? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think it's 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 great. Right now, I'm I'm totally focused on 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 my own course. So just trying to help the students um, create some of the awesome stuff that they're doing. But once I get some some time, um, I'll, I'm I'm planning to definitely jump in and, and learn from learn from the great Chris Costa. I think that's one of the, the things that excites me the most about our industry and, and whatever we're doing is that people share a lot, right? And then you get a chance to to really learn everyone's uh, workflow and the way that they, they think about their work. I think that's really powerful. I agree. Uh, about of work but we're back you said it's, it's about to not work is that what you said no i lost about 10 minutes worth of work oh but no! not too bad not too bad not too bad oh my own fault for not saving thank you for the reminder <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, take two. Let's go ahead and do the mustache of this guy. <laughs> This is what I love about fiber mesh. Even though I'm just using the, the quick save that I recovered from the crash, still still keep all the settings that I already had. That's good. That's great. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh boy. Got an extra mesh. <laughs> Somehow. That was weird. Oof. Right. It's going to be a challenging one. We need a detailed fiber mesh tutorial. I find eyebrows so hard to do. Yeah, eyebrows. Everything that is so particular, it's I think it's it's hard to do. Whoa! What's that? Oh, okay. I know what that is. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going crazy again, Pablo. Let's... Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking to yourself. Uh, okay. All right. 
right, here we go. Uh, there was one of those instances like we were talking about earlier where symmetry was supposed to be on and it wasn't. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the um, the new Art Station Learning? No, not yet. I got oh. the email this morning, or I saw it this morning. It's right. pretty neat. What is it? I haven't seen it at all. I, I think they just released this new service. Uh, it's a paid service, but if you are um, a pro member, you get access. And it's just um, kind of like a subscription base uh, thing that you know you, gives you access to a bunch of um, learning tools yeah, or tutorials stuff, yeah. I haven't I haven't really yeah haven't really got into it but I just saw it and I thought excellent more stuff so it's included with the pro learn. membership then sorry so it's included with the pro membership uh, I think so yeah so if you already have a pro membership you should already have access to it I'm going to, have to go check it out now I mean I was already interested in checking just it out just today I was thinking about getting one yeah uh, really a pro membership, yeah. You should. I think so too. Everybody's doing it. For, so. uh, for for art station here, you know, we should we should get funded by art station. <laughs> yeah. Serious <laughs> life sponsored by art station. It'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, getting some uh, some funny some funny comments on. On the uh, on the stream, <laughs> Mortar Caner's like, I'm going to sculpt my wife. A few hours later, you come with that goat demon. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have that joke on my channel, actually, that it was like um, my one of my watchers' ex-wife. He'd be like, "Wow, you really nailed her like that." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's mean. <laughs> It's okay, he didn't actually have one, so... Ah, uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, that he knows of. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, good stuff. Yeah, who's going crazy now? Yeah, see, no response. So it must have been. Uh... <laughs> Steven, I gave the bird you made a derpy face, and I'm kind of in love with it right now. Like, I've never made anything better than this derpy face on the bird. And that might be perfect I think for this... that scope. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've peaked just now. <laughs> Oh, that's shot of it in person in the Discord channel. <laughs> <laughs> Have you posted it? Uh, yeah, it's it's so floating. There it is. <laughs> See. Oh wait, you put it on the Discord you said? <laughs> I like, yeah, I like the look of it. <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys want to see what Anna's working on at the at the Derpy Bird, <laughs> go, go and check her out on Twitch. <laughs> it's almost like that's the face that I make when I hear Steven saying, "Oh yeah, polygon, oh polypaint, excellent, done. Oh, what did I do?" <laughs> that's exactly how it goes, dude. <laughs> Pro subscription is going to go up in price soon, so now is the time. That's interesting to know. Yeah, that's another thing I saw. But but if you already are a pro account holder, um, you you keep your price. That's good to know too. Uh, that's my understanding. Okay. 
Oh, shoot. There we go. <sighs> it's that same it's that same thing from earlier. Well, <laughs> the this, this symmetry? No, it's the... Uh, remember how we talked about the uh, the color and, and whatnot, how it has poly paint that's, like, permanent. Ah, uh, right. Flash. Turn my RGB up. Let's do that. Undone. That fix that I told you is not is not always Reliable. the fix. <laughs> it's just sometimes it works, uh, but not all the time. Interesting. I can't stop smiling while I'm working on this bird. There's something. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just grinning and my cheeks are hurting. Like, <laughs> let's <see> some face. <laughs> That's what the character appeal is all about, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's appealing. If we were to put this these three sculptures that we're doing together in next to each other. I reckon there's no way someone would say they live in the same universe. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I reckon you'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, you can you can make that um, quirky little bird and put it in one of the antlers of the goat. And there we go. <laughs> oh my god, I love the bird so much. Like, <laughs> it brings me joy. Good. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot. I did. I did something wrong and have to go back in time. Uh, it's it's comforting to know that I'm not the only one that goes through this. <laughs> You're not the only one the, the only one hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great time. Nothing's going wrong over here. Yeah, well, <laughs> melting <guess> face <laughs> bird. That's <laughs> my style. <laughs> oh, ten minutes left. Yeah, thank you, Mortar Caner. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, we need at least 15 more. <laughs> uh, yeah, so mirror and weld will actually work for everything, uh, right? It should, it should hold the poly paint up, right? Sorry? Uh, so a question on Twitch from, I think it's from Mortar Caner, right? Yeah, Mortar Caner's the, does the mirror and weld button work for poly paint too, or only the geometry? It for sure works on the geometry. I'm pretty sure it works for the poly paint as well. Yeah, yeah, it works a, for the poly paint. Yeah, because it's a per vertex uh, color assignment, so I, I would think yeah. so. Um, that's a that's a good question. That's interesting. I hadn't actually thought about it before. Alright, 10 minutes, pressure's on, so now, pop it up. Uh, you know what, I gotta push these antlers more. You got this.
didn't get a chance to do the the eyebrows. Or maybe we can still have like five minutes. Uh, you've got a comment in Portuguese, and if I try to pronounce it, it's all going to come out sounding like it's supposed to be Spanish, but it's not going to sound like Spanish. So you should probably uh, read that. Uh, KG. <laughs> Ah, que demais isso. Você fez hoje? Hoje? Do you know what that means? I have no idea. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, this is cool. Do you do it today? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. That's it. <laughs> um, Mustache, é sim e não. A gente tá fazendo um projeto chamado Recycle Up. Que é um de nós é, fazemos um projeto antigo e abandonado nosso e compartilha com os outros e a gente vai passando no grupo e cada um faz uma parte do trabalho antigo do outro até voltar ao dono. That was awesome. Explained what recycle up is in Portuguese. É muito bom. Your yeah. accent is perfect. You know what? It was funny because the the Brazilians that I used to live with. Um, I had a friend from Minas Gerais, so the, the accent was really different from the other two girls. One was from uh, Sao Paulo and the other one from, from Rio. So uh, I, I kind of like became good friends with uh, the girl from Rio. So the, the way that they pronounce the R is almost like, a, like an H in English. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, no, is that, is that the ones from um, the accent from Sao Paulo? From, In Rio, Rio we, we say a lot of our R is just like an eight breath thing, like a huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was because I also learned a lot of the Nigeria, mm. all the slangs. Um, but yeah, it was more of a portugal because that was when I first arrived to Australia. So <laughs> I didn't speak any English at all. And all the Brazilians that I live with, they didn't speak any English either. So we're just like learning English together. But the only way that we had to communicate for everything, like, oh, we need to pay the bills or uh, have you made any food or whatever, was through this port, like this broken Spanish as well as broken. Um, it, was, it was really fun. That's really cool. Yeah, I, lo I love experiences like that. When I was uh, when I was serving as a missionary in Chile, that was one of the things that was always the best. Is when I was with uh, when I had you know native native speaker companions, because um, mm. then I you know I I had no choice but to speak the language, <laughs> you know. And yeah, you have so, to force yourself, right? Yeah, and th those were always my favorite times because. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you you get to learn about their slang. If they're from Peru, how they speak differently from somebody from Bolivia or from Argentina. You know, Argentines were, were like that was that's some of my favorite Spanish. <laughs> But uh, pretty cool. It's, it's it's almost like maybe they, they they won't they won't like this, but it's almost like um, hearing an, an Italian speaking in Spanish. They have like this kind of very fast, very kind of kind of sing-songy kind of I don't know it's, it's yeah <laughs> what is the, the accent from Argentina okay I think I think I'm ready I think I'm ready to like cut the umbilical cord and pass it no he needs eyebrows esperate un momento esperate un momento Get rid of the layers. That's probably what it is. It has layers. Ah, uh, the all the all layers. Annoying trick. Bake all. Oh no! Don't. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't have any layers. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to work on the on the eyebrows, but I'm gonna wrap it up here and pass it on. 
So this is the the final hour. Yeah, this will be the final hour. All right, I'm gonna start saving mine. No, I one more time. Access to your sculpture, so I might just keep working on my own. <laughs> um, I don't know why it happened. Wait, as a Spanish native, I can say Pablo's theory about Portuguese. Is I didn't know a single thing on that said. Again? As a Spanish native, I can say Pablo's theory about Portuguese is similar to Spanish is wrong. I didn't understand a single thing Anna said. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You know, oh, I've always found... If you say the same thing slowly, I reckon, I reckon people will understand. Because usually you speak, you know, at normal speed for a native speaker. Mm -hmm. But... No, I've always actually found that it's harder for Spanish speakers to understand Portuguese than it is for Portuguese speakers to understand Spanish. I think that's accurate. Yeah, like, I, I just found that. Like, I thought I would be able to get around here. Like, I'm in Texas, and there's a lot mm -hmm. of Spanish speakers. I think I, I thought I would be able to get around with my f***ing all, but it hasn't worked out so far, so. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure, I'm sure if you start speaking Spanish, I mean... Not yet. If you if you just change the accent a little bit, like the the, <laughs> the, the very what's the the accent term like very suave, very nice uh, Brazilian accent, Portuguese accent. I'm sure you can communicate in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, there's there's a woman I knew in Chile where she was yeah, she was she was from Brazil, but she. Uh, she also spoke Spanish, but when I when she spoke in Portuguese, um, I, I could understand her because of the way that she spoke. Right. Yeah, I got the same thing when when I was kind of like learning it a little bit. I think um, my friends used to make fun of me because they said that I completely change the try to to suit how how a Brazilian nat nat or native speaker will you know, sing <laughs> almost words, but uh, I don't know. I think it's, you can just pretend that you know a little bit if you kind of follow that, that pattern and how all the, all the words are, it's like a song really. <laughs> people on my stream, my, my personal stream is like bilingual and people on my stream say that Whenever I speak Portuguese, my entire vo voice changes. Right. Yeah. Uh, Alf Diablo, I posted a link to my, my Discord um, server in the Twitch chat. If you want to get some feedback, you can post it on there. And a lot of people will come get you feedback. Sorry, somebody asked for a feedback, please. Ready to finally save this guy. So, save, save, save. So I'm gonna call it um, 03 Goblin Elder. Pablo. I don't think, I don't think my, uh, that was failed. That was a fail. Alrighty. I'm going to call this a fail. We're just going to cut the loss and, and move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, probably. Uh, uh, was, uh, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it and I'll let you uh, see how bad it is. Oh. And you can you can decide what to keep, what, what, to, what to get rid of. <laughs> All right. Mine is, being, mine is being uploaded now to my phone. Where goat? It's complete. Okay. Got it.
I'm going to wait until mine is uploaded, otherwise it's just going to take too long. Yeah, I might need to... This bird's face while I'm waiting. <laughs> this is going to be the new uh, wallpaper. <laughs> it's so derpy. Oh, I love it. He's got like a mushy, like melted face. <laughs> what happened? Did you delete it instead of save it? Uh, what happened? It's uh, I was trying to delete layers. Okay, there we go. I got I got it back. Okay. It's like it, it doesn't even show the layers. What's oh, it's didn't. I like I like what um more the caner is is saying. It's kind of like the keeping us updated with every everything that's happening in the in the different screen like <laughs> the bird is the winner of the night Steven the model Steven hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like live commentary yeah we appreciate you right. <laughs> uh, all right downloading the the doberman now excited excited oh, to see what you guys game. did with this guy It's like I can't I can't figure out what to do to Yeah, I don't know. It might just be a thing of waiting to for it to upload. It's 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 three quarters of the way. Like Let's I see, what is it? You are Steven R E is in YouTube? Yeah. Let me see. Well it's just it's just that it's it's uh, such a no. heavy Oh you are uh, something else. Heavy model. Oh, finishing upload. Upload done. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I found the uh, Goblin Elder. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get this bad boy going. <laughs> I see the where it goes. My folder. I see it, I mean, I see the file. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, hang on. The the bird was in the actual goat, right? On or not? No, it's in the Doberman. Yeah, the bird started off in your Doberman. I added it to the goat though, so if you. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> we have more birds! <laughs> it's the best day ever. I love uh, seeing the, uh, the fiber good. mesh with the, with the um, polygroups turned on. It makes it look really pretty. It makes it look like uh, Matt Thorup. <laughs> Stephen, this goat is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it has like mirror eyes. I can see it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, now it's like it's now it's like trying to figure out like where do we take this? This is fun. <laughs> Have you guys got your your file? I'm still downloading the Doberman. How big is it? The, the Doberman should be a lot, um, a lot easier to. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be it should be a lot lighter. I mean, un unless uh, unless it got a lot of a lot of extra love, which it probably did get extra love, but I don't know that it's uh, extra heavy. Um, it was it was 34 uh, megabytes mm. for me. How how big is it? Let me see. Four hundred. Uh, no, 
That says 38 megabytes. The one from Amazon. Yeah. Hmm. That's not too bad. Well, 25 already. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to continue the fiber mesh work. I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to like try something that I haven't really tried. Did you add um, red wax material to the teeth? No. Is it doing uh, red wax <laughs> to the teeth? That's irritating. But maybe it's because of you did that that thing, the um, erasing the material. It the folds back to that one, probably. Maybe. Either that or Mortar Caner is like doing something right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I. Yeah. Yeah. It was red wax. I'm getting rid of it slowly, tooth by tooth. <laughs> hey, Quintonius, how you doing, dude? Yeah, so the demon goat that was uh, that was born of Anna's wonderful mind, <laughs> and then say that. and then we just kind of added <laughs> to it. <laughs> I'm just going back to there's a few questions that could have addressed, but maybe it's too late now. That was like from an hour and a go ago, one hour and a half ago. <laughs> All right, I got the Doberman. Great. Oh, wow. Uh, I like it. It's a different... So it went from the punk, this punk guy, to nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this funny. is pretty okay, cool. I was trying to like go through and... and uh... Because uh, of my, my history with Dobermans, I was like, it needs to be fun, it needs to be, like, not intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of the um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Cool. This is cool, guys. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna rotate and and look at, at it for for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what I'm doing with the goat. I'm trying yeah, that's to figure that's, out what I'm... that's that's a, that's a fun and and good idea. Like that's that's kind of what I do every time I open up a new file. I look around at it for a while and figure out what to do first. <laughs> you in the stream, not on this channel, but on my channel. I'm just like rotating is fun, guys. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, this this model has taken a dark turn. I think I'm <laughs> gonna roll with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to think it was already like a little bit scary, but no. Turns out if you give it humongous eyeballs, that's when it gets scary. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can see the the work of Steven, um, all the clean geometry and subdivisions. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's clean. Everything is subdivided nicely. Nice topology. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little obsessed Makes it with easy. like clean topology and everything. <laughs> uh, makes it easy to make changes. Yeah, for sure. That's always one of the one of the fun things when we're uh, when we're dealing with models that come from like Pixar or ILM or um, or the Disney Feature Animation Studio or whatever it is. You know, when they come to us and they have this nice clean topology, it's like, oh, right. <laughs> it's like I can work with this. <laughs> uh, let me see. That's gravity. Gravity wants to bring me down. Um, maybe this is just for me. When you use the smooth, strong brush while streaming, is it giving you issues? I 
don't know that I've used I don't know that I've used uh, the smooth stronger brush while streaming, but I, I don't know that I've ever had problems with it. Just in case you can still hear me, <laughs> if that's what you're uh, trying to get at, you know. I need to go back and like super rewatch Pablo's uh, streams on Fiber Mesh. <laughs> Let's, let's experiment. I'm going to experiment. This is what this is about. <laughs> somewhere that it can be actually useful. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes, Mortar Caner says. It went from terrifying to look scared in 0.2 seconds. <laughs> that could be funny. <laughs> <laughs> they were terrifying me a little bit too much. <laughs> Something had to be done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I think I think we're good. Okay, so accept. to the other fibers thing. Did it? Wait, that's really weird. It didn't. Sorry, I'm like talking to myself now. I'm like... <laughs> You can still hear me though, right, Anna, right? Sorry? You can still hear me though, right? What? You can still hear me, right? Yeah. You cut out while asking me if I can still hear you. But other than that, everything's okay. <laughs> is cool and scary. <laughs> What's the best career move you've ever made? The best career move I ever made. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, it, it's... That's a tricky question. That's a really tricky question. If you can think of one for yourself before I can, then go ahead, but let me see. Oh, boy. How about you, pa Pablo? I think he might have cut out. I'm not sure. If you're talking, we can't hear you. FYI. Oh, he just cut out. There he is. You back? Uh -oh. There we go. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, I think for me, it's it's an easy one. Don't know if um, you guys would agree, but uh, since I went solo and I'm just doing freelancing and and working on on developing the uh, the training and fo fully focusing on the Seabridge guides and the new website that I have, the 3D concept artist is just been the best in in terms of how I feel about it, how how I how I treat every day at work basically, and yeah, it's, it's just completely different from what I had before. I obviously miss the, the, the studio and the, the feeling of being surrounded by creative people, but I just try to compensate it or compensate that with um, just catching up with, with friends that work in the industry, go for a beer, talk about stuff, having little, um, little discussions about it and sometimes do uh, kind of an online meetup uh, with Google and share what we're working on. Um, so, but in terms of the career, I don't know if it is a career advancement. That's what I'm saying is you might not agree with it. Uh, but it, in terms of how I feel every day that I wake up and just want to work on it, it's a it's a huge it's a huge difference. I think I think that that's really cool. You know that counts. Of course, I think it counts a lot actually. Yeah, I think I think that's totally valid because I mean one of the things that uh, I mean you're. Careers have all sorts of different shapes and and varieties to them, you know. Um, mm. Like like Anna's is more technical um, than mine is, but you know we we both get to do creative things. You get to do creative things, and you get to do a lot of the business side. And, you know, so so like everybody has like a very different, you know, just what it looks like, I guess, at the moment. And I think that that's that's totally valid, especially if it's if it's something that uh, that you're excited to do every day. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the the main difference, really. What I can feel is the the main re the main difference from what I was doing before. Just the 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 energy levels are just up all the time. <laughs> right. Nice. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, how long did you switch? What was that? About a year. About a year. Oh. Yeah, about a year. So I've been just um, on my own. Uh, before I used to do like a lot of freelance, but nowadays I'm doing more of the. I have the. I have the. I would say the. Um, how can I explain it? <laughs> I, I am fortunate enough that I can, at this point in life, I can handpick the projects that I want to work on. So I, I make sure that the projects that I work on are, are really cool, or at least that I want to, um, I'm going to work with some artists that I really want to work, that's, that sort of thing. Uh, with, whereas before, the, the freelance that I used to do was just like, oh yeah, this is a job, you know, get paid, get experience, that's it. Right. Cool. Well, I don't feel like I'm doing half bad with this uh, fiber mesh stuff. We'll have to see how it actually turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for myself, I don't know. Like, like I think my best career choice may have been something as simple as just uh, starting to teach. Um, like the 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 class. Oh yeah, that's that a good I one. Teach. Yeah, because like I, I feel like my greatest growth um, always came when I was trying to help somebody else understand something that I learned how to do. Yeah, 
Absolutely, I totally agree with that. There's nothing more. Um, I mean, it's is rewarding in itself, but it also keeps you very current because you want to, like you said, try to understand how things work before you can actually explain them. Yeah, and absolutely. That 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 helps you a lot. Yeah, absolutely. What about you, Anna? Uh, <laughs> I, I, for me, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to ask the hard questions, guys. Yeah, but not answering them. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather not. Um, no, for me, it's. I think it was um, becoming more of a technical artist. Right. Instead of just character artist, which is what I wanted to do originally. And um, I, I don't know. I just love it so much. You know, like the challenge is the best part. Right. So it's totally something I didn't expect to like. I thought I was just going to do it for like a year or two and then move on and be a character artist. But I think it's changing now. And I want to stay and be like the best technical artist that I can be. Right. Mordor with VR? Uh, yeah, my full time job is out of VR. Ah, right. In Unreal? Yeah. Um, using the Vive as our main um, our, our main uh, headset, but we use a little bit of literally everything. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Which is, I'm so excited to learn Houdini. I think it'll really be like the cherry on, like, it's going to be so fun. I don't know. I love it. I can't wait. Yeah, I think, I think if, um, if you already have that, that skill, like being a technical artist or, or just the coding part, Houdini would be, yeah. I mean, so far it's been fine. Easier than I expected it to be, for sure. What I'm doing with this Doberman is nothing else but refining a little bit of shapes and adding wrinkles. But I kind of like love the the whole concept already, so I'm not I'm not changing <laughs> anything. That's fun. <laughs> Give that bird an extra extra highlight. Love. Nah, the the bird doesn't <laughs> need anything. The bird is good as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that bird 3D. <laughs> Do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so one of the tricks I think I learned it from you actually, Pablo, uh, that I'm trying with with fiber mesh is using the pinch brush to create like clumps. Right. It's so helpful. <laughs> you you understand that the fiber mesh is just geometry but it just behaves I mean it is geometry just optimized for being fiber then you can just play with any brush really right right so cool man you, you converted me <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to give it some, some bird poo on this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so that he's, he's actually looking at the bear for some reason. Yeah, so uh, XM Ghost, uh, you did that model in two hours or start continue. So essentially the idea of, of this, uh, this particular stream is to take an old, um, to take an old model uh, something that we had done is just a sketch, just something to be able to get an idea out of our head, an exercise, whatever it is, and to um, and to essentially kind of recycle it, you know, make it something that's 
um, and make it something different, something something new, and and to just have fun. <laughs> just Some light it. into old designs. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's kind of the idea behind it. Um, so yeah, a lot of these things uh, were done, well, started, you know, at least uh, beforehand. And uh, and so now we're just going through and, and kind of just playing. Uh, and I gotta. You you'd think that I'd. Uh, think that I'd know better how to comb hair, you know, since I comb my hair. <laughs> um. All right, that that puts another another a new spin about the the background of the story of this character. <laughs> Yeah, it'll, it'll be funny to see like how they all actually end up. <laughs> it's always really nice to like. Um... <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, think, I, think it, I think that makes more sense now. Of what's happening, this guy is realizing it. I'm gonna put one in the Discord channel as well. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Paste in the Discord channel. Cool. Nice. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it so much. Now remember, if you guys want to see what Pablo's working on, head on over to Facebook and check him out. And then Ana Carolina is on Twitch. And then Steven Anderson over here on uh, on what you may get <laughs> on YouTube. Nice. Um, <laughs> on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna take a be back in two seconds. Sure. Man, this is such an interesting tool. This fiber mesh stuff. Oh, there we go. <coughs> I probably needed to add in more segments. I bet that's what my my problem is. Oh well. I'm just here, like, playing with the groom brushes. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, it just started raining. Really? And I had my my washing out. 
Oh. Un- unexpected. Does that does that happen often where you get like a like an unexpected uh, um, just sudden rains? Steven, you cut out for me. Oh. So does that you... does that happen often where you get sudden rains? Ah, yeah. Mel- Melbourne weather is the most unpredictable weather in the world. You could just say, like, it's going to be sunny, 20 degrees, and then you basically have to take um, an umbrella and... And sunblock wherever you go. <laughs> ...with shorts, and then take an umbrella. Just... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this, uh, I see what uh, what you mean, Anna. This bird is kind of like you sculpt it, and when you look at it, it just makes you smile. <laughs> 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 it's like you stupid bird, <laughs> but kind of cute at the same time. <laughs> it's in its own little way. You only need to clean your car or wash your clothes, and suddenly it starts to rain. <laughs> <laughs> or do something nice to your hair. Yeah, or do something nice to your Well, I don't... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> All I do is comb it. <laughs> Not trying to like rub that in anyone's face who might actually spend time on their hair, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> some people have all the luck. <laughs> Why? Because um, he just combs his hair and he's done. Ah, uh, fair. Yeah, but you don't know how long he spent combing his hair. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it varies. <laughs> <laughs> Now lately, mostly, most of what I've been doing has been like, just sort of uh, like not even putting product in it. I don't, I don't like to put gel in my hair anymore because it like it dries out my my forehead. It it's been really irritating. <laughs> Decided to give a bit of an extra, extra love to this. Yeah. <laughs> that model really needs nose hairs. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Because this is the kind of thing I never I'm going all stylized and expressive with the piece, and usually I don't go for that. And I think that's one of the most enriching parts of these streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just all over the place get, in a good way. Yeah, you get to work on all these different. It's just um, having different options, right? Just gives you all these different things. I think that's what you you guys said at the beginning, kind of like you you see your own model with different or fresh eyes, with different a different view, and then just give you ideas on how to continue. That's great. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. What happened to the sound? Hello? Oh, are are you not able to hear any anything or Well, they're talking about it on Twitch. Let's see. Somebody else is saying it just refresh, so maybe maybe that's the issue, maybe the, the maybe insanity just needs to Oh, uh, I can hear you guys. No yeah, problem. Our our sound's alright, I think. Is everything is, is everybody able to to hear everything? Just go ahead and check in on the different platforms, uh, uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook, everybody, can you guys hear people? Yeah, it looks like Mortar Kainer's saying that the uh, sound is fine for him. Okay, third crash for me today. I do not know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, thank you for the reminder to save, yeah. It's really helpful. <laughs> Turn? Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was that? Should I should I save? Oh yes, yes. Uh, saving is good. Uh, yes. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Pre appreciate the concern. <laughs> uh, wait. Didn't lose anything. All recovered. That's always good. <laughs> Pablo clash crashes equals saving reminder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet that you were saving as soon as I said that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Yes, good to see you, Quintonius. <laughs> nice of you to stop by. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm glad that I uh, dove in and started trying to play with some uh, fiber mesh today. I think that was that was fun. I, I didn't get it to look nearly as good as yours, but <laughs> it's still kind of fun. <laughs> You were working with fiber mesh? Yeah, I did some stuff with fiber mesh. Yeah, fiber mesh is fun, man. It's fun to try to figure out things. Uh-huh. 
15 minutes left. <laughs> no <Yeah>. way! <laughs> it's always a good thing when somebody says, Oh no, what are you But I'm not that fast because I honestly haven't done much with this. Like, I was already happy with what you guys did. I don't want to <laughs> overdo things. So I'm just, I've been rotating most of the time and adding little details, but it's very close. It works for me. Gonna add some poly painting in. <laughs> and see kind of like what I can do with that in the rest of the time we've got. Yeah, throw in some poly paint. The the goat has poly paint, right? The goat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it this has guy has poly paint now. It would be good to have like at the end everything poly painted. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I might just throw in a maybe a keyshot render of this. Yeah, we could do keyshot yeah. renders. And I still haven't used it. Keyshot. I got inspired by Steven. Yeah, Steven inspired me to get keyshot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, you like threw those, remember the friendship pillars that yeah. we made during, uh, I think it was the first? I don't remember which one it was. It might have been the second did, but one. Yeah, the friendship pillars. Yeah. Like, you just threw it in key shot. I don't know what kind of it did. It turned out beautiful. And I was like, I need some of that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a really, really slick piece of software. And that material you threw on, on that uh, render, was that like something you made? Um, I have a few that I've made. Um, I have this one that's like an SLA uh, 3D print type material. Um, really, really cool. I can I can send it to you if you want it. Yay! Um, I really liked the one that was um, kind of like a copper, like an oxidized copper look. Yeah, or bronze. that one. I'll have to look and see what that one was called. That, that was one that I that I downloaded from the. Uh, from their uh, from their online resource from the cloud stuff. Really, really cool. It's not one that I use a whole lot, but it's one that you know is super helpful when I do. Pablo. Steven, this this thing that you put on the head of the goat, is it supposed to be like a chicken kind of like thing? You know those chickens have little red things on can their heads? You, can you guys hear me? Oh, so yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. We can hear you now. Ah, sorry, cool. Yeah, so the thing on the top of the goat's head, they were going to be like, like, uh, like Goku eyebrows, but I just... <laughs> 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 I just okay. I just didn't get like good time to be able to really play with them, and so yeah, I ended up just leaving it. That was the thing that I was that I was telling about, like yeah, you'll you'll see what I mean, you know. And <laughs> yeah, it was a funny. It worked. <laughs> and now it's a unibrow. Perfect. That's something that I was thinking about. <laughs> Is this eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I think I, I know what this guy is missing some. Is it fiber mesh? Some work. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think the, the fire mesh goes with this with this style. Now I was gonna say the something that I don't use that often the 
the plastic IMM zipper. That's the one. Ah. Let's see. Oh. Movie? No. Although this piece is supposed to tell a story. Plus, we're recording it, so you can watch it as a movie of three hours. All of this. All yeah, of this. it is a three-hour movie. That's a pretty long movie. And if you watch, if you watch each stream individually, that's nine hours of your life <laughs> that you will thank yourself for in the future. <laughs> Probably all the most important lessons you have to learn have all been taught today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> do not watch this, or do if you want to, but not because of the important life. <laughs> don't, don't, don't expect your life to be, you know, like all the better for it, but expect your ZBrushing to be all the funnier for it, thinking, I should add a derpy bird. It really <laughs> helps. It really does. Like, if your yeah. piece is missing something, just throw a derpy bird on it. That's a lesson <laughs> I learned today. Yeah, I think that, that bird makes it for this character. It's like it just it's, it took away the whole idea of the of the character and now it's the bird. The framing is not gonna even have the final <laughs> composition is not gonna even have the the dog in the shot. It's gonna be an arm. <laughs> the bird. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Is it gonna crash? Is it gonna crash or should I save? It's, 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 it's thinking about ambient occlusion masking is what it's doing. <laughs> what were you saying? Just cut off for a second again. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing an auto mask uh, with ambient occlusion. Uh, so it's, uh, right. it's thinking. <laughs> My stream died? No way. That is always. Hey, uh, Steven, safe, safe. By the way, just in case. Oh, thank just letting you. you know that. Thank. You. Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'd be without you. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, returning the favor. That's all. Wow. Yeah, my my stream does seem to be doing something funny. I think I think it's because. I think. Oh, sorry. Is it back? Close the program. Okay, yeah, no, it's not working. <laughs> what happened? ZBrush crash! <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and have the, uh, the auto recover. <laughs> Maybe. So far, no. I don't. I. I don't think I see you yet. No, I think it's back. No. Yeah. You, you have the frozen image. Yeah. That's yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Say. Just him smiling. And... Oh, good. It says I got the quick save. Sweet. Yeah, oh, quick and it doesn't save have is it. the best. It doesn't have it. Oh no. Did you oh. lose much? Looks like I lost enough to be unhappy with it, but not enough to think that I lost everything. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good enough that I can say thank you, ZBrush, for autosaving. Time back and forth between the original one I, I sent you guys and what it looks like now. Like, yeah. it's so much cooler now. It's so much more <laughs> dynamic. Interesting. You have, wow, I've learned so much. Like I swear. <laughs> uh, we're coming up on time here. Uh, everybody should pull up their originals and new one that they're like currently working on, and then right. um, we will take turns showing them off. 
and then we will um, open up each other's streams on our streams. I'll explain a bit more about that in a second, but we'll basically, <laughs> every single stream will show that person who's showing off their work. Right. The before yeah. and after. Let's do that. That sounds so, fun. So basically, if Steven goes first, we'll all open up YouTube and make it full screen and show it off to our people who are watching on our parts. Yeah. Can't hear you. Can you see talking? He was well, I think uh, the the green outline of his face is saying that he's talking, but I cannot hear anything that he. It looks like he's safe. Is it? Is is my uh, stuff there we not go. working? There he is. is it... You're back. So was it was it not working? Is it is it streaming kind of in a weird way or something? Or... What's no, I just couldn't hear you. Oh, well, I wasn't I wasn't saying anything, so. <laughs> Explain why we couldn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I'm talking, people know usually. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> hey, do, you use a, do you use a reference for the for the hand of the... Pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, um, I thought I, it was the worst thing I did all day. That hand of nah, the Nah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm so not even going to touch, touch it. I'm going to leave it like that and render it. Nice. I'm glad, I'm glad you pushed the hand some because I was like, I don't really have time to actually like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I keep the... I kept the hands kind of like inside the pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a free time project. I'm not getting paid to make hands. <laughs> You get pockets. <laughs> mm, I don't like that. All right, whenever you guys are ready, I, I'm calling it done. Yeah, I think I, I, I need to stop just rotating this character. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. Yeah, I'm just going to call that good enough, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's Who just do a quick to... save. Um, yeah, saving is good. Anna, if you wanna just walk us through how to, um, how to showcase it the way that you you say. So um, pull up your original, the one that you sent us, first place, and then pull up the one you're just working on. The originals first, so that we get that before and after effect. Yep. Uh, so, uh, whenever you have your original up, let us know, and we will open up your stream on our streams, if that makes sense. Basically, just open up full screen uh, on my on my, on my my monitor, and people will be able to see it. Yep. Uh, and, and vice versa. Like, so, yep, like, I got you guys it. do the same. And I then, and then we take turns doing that. Cool. I got the, I got the original. Okay. Give me just a Even? second, and I will be right. Okay, I think that that'll be better. That's better. Okay, so somehow, go somehow ahead my and original is like load. <laughs> All right. So let me see. YouTube and which pull up into Google. Oh, I don't need YouTube. I need. Let's go to Facebook first. Like, hello, everybody. Okay. Poopsie. I opened up the sound. <laughs> oh, my God. Your original Doberman was so cute with its little ears. Yeah, it's it's a really fun sculpt <laughs> that I've gotten to play with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who oh, wants yeah. to go first I... and show their work or, or show the progression of their model? You're just cutting up... Um... I'm gonna oh, have to do this afterwards. Yeah, it's, right. it's can a you really... guys still hear me? Yeah. Oh, so are, are we doing are we doing Pablo first? Or are we doing? Uh... Oh, which who wants to go first? I'll, I'll, I can Hello. go first. Hello. I can go first. Okay, I'm gonna pull up your stream. Yeah. Hello. There's gonna be a weird delay situation, but you know it'll be fine. Oh, my internet is so bad. So I got Steven. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So so you can you can see that. Everything going through all right. Okay. Cool. Confusion. Yeah, confusion. Nice. Is the confusion going through? <laughs> that hairstyle. Very nice. Yeah. So, kind of a kind of fun, you know. A lot of focus on just asymmetry and character and age and weathering and whatnot. Now it's really cool to go through and see what you guys went through and did with it. And then you know, Who's showing up first? I'm sorry. I think I, I was I'm looking at Steven, but oh. he's just doing something on Facebook unless there's like a massive delay. Oh yeah. Are you... Oh it worked better last time. Oh, so is it is it not working for you, Anna? Okay, now I can see the goblin. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, I I still see the Facebook. We just wait a little bit. But yeah, guys, this has been really fun, actually. Yeah, really cool. I always look forward to these. Yeah, I do. I do see that you you are seeing like me going through Facebook to get to the stream. <laughs> oh, that is that is kind of a lag. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, no, right. I think it's uh, yeah. It's um, okay. It's just my internet, to be honest. I think. Mm. All right, I can see the goblin again. Okay. All right. All well, right. So, so here he is in all of his majestic, non-finished sculptiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to go through and see kind of like what you guys did with it, and here's kind of like what I was able to add. I added some uh, some hair on his head. <laughs> Which was a lot of fun. Uh, decided to reshape the nose. And I think that if I were to, to keep going, I mean I would I would definitely uh, I would definitely have um, you know added different poly paint to the to the facial hair, to the to the to the hair hair <laughs> Um, you know, more complexity. I had, I had, I had some good like lights and darks going on with the poly paint on the character's face itself, but that got that got yanked. <laughs> His beard. He looks like a very hipster old man. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I had, I had to give him like this, this cool like receding hairline with like a comb over sort of thing, where he's got like you know the hair, and he's got. <laughs> it kind of sweeps off to the other side. Oh my god, I love the beard. Like, if I could have a beard, it would look exactly like that. <laughs> you and me both. Guys, I think I'm going to have to stop my... my... Oh yeah? Because I cannot hear anything. Uh. Okay, no, no worries. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll show so. mine. Cool. Oh, it looks even cooler with the <laughs> with the render. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So let's jump over to Twitch. You gotta go through. In a few that. years, streaming is gonna be so easy with like instant internet and all that. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. Yes. No. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm listening to to your comments, so um, that's all good. It's just that I couldn't really what you were saying because of the lag. I wish we could skip ads. Why? Why? Why won't it let me get past the ad? <laughs> Are we showing uh, Twitch now? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on Twitch now. Let me know whenever you're ready. I'm just gonna rotate around the mall. Um, one second. You know what the funny part is? Is whenever I made this, I saw. I I lost your audio there. Oh, I was saying like the funny part is that like whenever I made this model, I thought it was the bee's knees. <laughs> we all think that at some point. <laughs> well, I think it's I think it's fun. I think I remember watching your stream when you were doing this, and it was it was fun. Mean all thirty-five million streams. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, all Listen. of them. <laughs> now, you're rotating them all now. Madly rotating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm about to turn the new one on. It's probably gonna have some lag, but here it goes. Here's the new one. <laughs> No, wait, I cannot see it. Where's the new one? No, there's lag, there's lag. Wait, wait. <laughs> right. That's just... That's just Steven all over it. Brilliant. <laughs> this is like... It's like no professionalism in the studio. <laughs> whatever, that whatever feels good. I just imagine like us working in a in a in a proper pipeline and, and all that and just going to Steven, hey, what do you think about that? It's like, oh don't worry, just give me your module for five seconds. Then, you know, it's like, <laughs> that was funny. He's still laughing. <laughs> I did not picture that happening in a million years. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my abs hurt. Uh. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> no. Oh. Good. Oh. Look at it. Pablo's. <laughs> cannot really hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> we should have we should have left that one for the for the last one. Now it's not gonna be. <laughs> but yours has the adorable bird. Well, yeah, that's the fair enough. Bird. <laughs> Which nobody has seen yet, by the way, on on my channel. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I can so see it already on mine. Cool. I'm oh, gonna okay. do. I'm gonna do the rotating thing in the meantime. <laughs> Let me know when you can see both of you. Okay, it's starting to move. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was perfect. That was so good. And I think so. I just broke the neighborhood. <laughs> okay, cool. It's rotating. It's full body. It's zooming into the face. Okay. All right, cool. So there's a little bit of a lag, but it's all right. I'm going to maybe just leave it on this side and do a <laughs> and screenshot and bring the new one. It stands. Yeah, very nice dance. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you guys are. So oh, here is the the new. One. <laughs> it's a completely different look. I'm waiting on the lag still. Yeah. 
Well, and I, I'm streaming yeah, you, it. streaming him, so it, it's it's. So it'll, oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. oh, the bird has cute little feather. Oh. oh man. Let's let's do a let's do um a zoom to what really would really. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> This is gonna be the final shot. So forget about the dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Quest says, "If this is what it's like to quit my job as a cop ASAP." <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I could if I could work with Steven. <laughs> in, a, in a real environment, it would be, it'd be too face. much. Look at that therapy face. That face. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's, it's really cute. It has a story behind it. It's like, look what I did to your hat. And the dog is like, what? Are, are you proud of me? Because I'm proud of me. <laughs> uh, man, this is so exciting. <laughs> those, those two turned out so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this one is ready to just be rendered in Keyshot. Yeah. Nice. Uh, fun. Well, guys, this this has been a really fun, really fun stream. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Hopefully, we can do this again soon. Yes, definitely. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, so I, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here because I gotta go in about 15 minutes. Dude, awesome. uh, uh, you guys uh, keep streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. Cool. Well, thanks, All right, Pablo. it's so cute. <laughs> All thank right, you, thank Pablo. you guys, and thanks everyone for tuning in. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't we didn't get to to answer all of the questions, and it's a lot of activity in the chat. <laughs> you know, I will I'll be rendering this later on and sharing it around. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll try right. to I'll try to get mine a little further along so that it can at least you know somewhat match yours in quality. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one this quality is from you guys. <laughs> I, I I I just did the little feathers and the poo. That's my contribution to the <laughs> final one. <laughs> hey, you straightened out the lines in the shirt. And the and the zipper. Let's say that that that's my contribution. That's that's a hefty composition. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you so much, and uh, take it easy. This was really, really enlightening and fun. Good deal, brother. It's good to have you. Uh, or a good day. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Cheers. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, and and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know when the next time you're streaming is, Anna, uh, but um, next time. I'm not scheduled yet. <laughs> Um, my next... Ever since I started... Sorry. No, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You are more on topic than me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, my next, um, my next stream will be Saturday, this Saturday morning, uh, from 9 to noon, I think, uh, Pacific time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll work on a few things, uh... Not anything nearly as entertaining as this wild beast right here, but uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm. This is gonna. This is gonna tickle me pink for a long time. This is so funny. <laughs> so funny. We should do a gif of like the before and after. <laughs> <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to go through and do like uh, we need to do a ZBrush Central post. Uh, see if we can get top row with these. <laughs> Yeah, actually, like let's do that. <laughs> we'll do it. Like let's let's make him nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah, we'll have to get some good some good uh, renders of Pablo's, and uh, I'll see if I can get mine to a good stage and all that. We'll 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 have some good stuff to gonna make ourselves a top nice. Row. Yeah. <laughs> let's upload the final ones. I'll ask Pablo to upload his, <clears throat> and then we'll be happy forever. Good deal. That's gonna be exciting. But yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. 
you guys Subscribe, like, uh, and follow the Pixelogic channel for more fun streams, streams by amazing artists from all the industries. So. Yeah. Yeah. And there are a lot of really cool new streamers coming through uh, lately as well. So uh, be sure to check them out as well um, in a variety of languages. You know, if you speak Spanish or Portuguese <laughs> or uh, Russian, you know, there are all sorts of different languages available. So, so be sure to check out 